Hi everybody, this is Ludens, aka Dorothy Toto22 at MySpace.com. Um, somebody on the um, forum just presented me with an opportunity to share some scripture with you um, uh, that you know kind of correlates the um, information that I tried to convey to you guys with the um, true nature of the uh, Palo Verde. Um, like I said, for every lie that is put out there by anyone operating under the influences of the Illuminati, the powers that be, or the Ludens, however you know them, there is an absolute truth that is located within the pages of the Bible. Now, this information is available to anyone. You just simply have to ask to have understanding of this information. Okay, it's all there. Um, I'm going to quote this scripture for you now. Um, I'm working out of the King James, uh, the New King James Version of the Bible. And I'm in uh, Mark 11. And so um, it's going to be verses 12. And I'll just I'll tell you what verse I stop at. Um, the title of this um, passage is called The Fig Tree Withered. Now the next day, when they had come out of Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he would find something on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus said to it, let no one eat fruit from you ever again. And his disciples heard it. Okay, um, I stopped there at verse 14. Um, now, continuing on, there are some other passages in the Bible that um, deal with this very, very concept of trees bearing certain fruit and you knowing them by the fruit that they bear or don't bear um okay uh there's another passage here um it's in matthew 12 verse 33 and it's um titled a tree known by its fruit and these are the words of Jesus Christ. Okay. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For a tree is known by its fruit. Brood of vipers. How can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure, brings forth evil things. But I say to you, that for every idle word men may speak, they will give account of it in the, in the um, day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Okay, there's another passage here. Um, it's Matthew 7, um, verse 15 is where it starts. Okay, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly there are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. Okay, these are the passages that I was led to um, as a result of um, this uh, person here on the forum um, and their view of the uh, lesson that I was teaching through the Palo Verde tree. Um, I hope that you will all turn to the Bible and find these truths for yourself. They will be revealed to you. All you need to do is just ask. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, video now before I go off into too much of a tangent. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.